Hi everybody! Today I would like to talk about something that is not strictly related to translation, but it's a subject that we always worry about. Repetitive strain injury. That's what happens when we move our body a certain way several times throughout the day and it causes inflammation to tendons and nerves. Considering our daily activities as translators, that usually happens in our upper extremities because we're typing and moving the mouse all day long. If you do not plan your office ergonomically, you soon start feeling discomfort on your fingers, wrist, forearms, elbows, biceps, and shoulders. That goes without saying that your feet and your legs can also get swollen from sitting in front of the computer all day. What about that pain in the neck and back that you're always complaining about? In one of my past lives, when I was going to school to become a computer programmer, I actually had to have physical therapy because my forearms really hurt. The insurance company even thought it was a kind of a insurance fraud or a scam because of how young I was, and people were usually treated for that kind of pain and discomfort when they were well in their 30s. But that goes to show that it only takes a couple of years for damage to be done. Back then, I wasn't using my computer correctly. I was sitting in an uncomfortable position and I would spend too much time typing without getting any rest. Doctors recommended ice therapy and also shock therapy, which consisted of some electrodes connected to my forearms to send shock waves and relieve muscle aches and inflammation. That was over half my life ago, and I'm very fortunate that I've never needed physical therapy for that kind of issue again. Still, a couple of years ago, I started feeling some discomfort on my hand. Um, it was my right hand that I used to move my mouse, and I would feel some discomfort here and also around my uh, thumb, because my thumb seemed to be in a very awkward position when hitting the space bar all the time. That's when I decided to upgrade my peripherals, and I bought a keyboard and a mouse that are ergonomically designed and two years later, it's made a world of difference. So um, this is the keyboard that I got. It's a Microsoft keyboard, which is funny because I don't use Windows, I use Linux. But anyway, it connects perfectly with my computer and it has this kind of uh, division here, the separation for your right hand and your left hand. And even though it looks weird shape-wise, it does feel more normal, more comfortable, because your hands aren't in this position all the time, they're actually resting in a better angle. So it really helped me with my wrist and with my thumb. As for my mouse, um, this is what it looks like. I know it's kind of weird. It's not shaped like the little mouse that we're always used to. Um, and it sits like this on my hand. So uh, let me see if I can show you all the angles. So I have the two um, buttons here and the scroller here, and it's more um, anatomically friendly because my hand doesn't have to be in that position, like what is it supposed to be like this for your mouse all the time. It actually fits my, my wrist better, so it doesn't put a lot of strain in that area that I was complaining about all the time, and uh, it also helps with my thumb because it sits in a better position uh, like this. Now, besides my ergonomic peripherals, I also got something else that <laughs> it looks kind of cheesy, but it helps me a lot, especially when I have longer projects and I know that I'll spend a few days uh, working longer hours uh, as opposed to having shorter projects that will allow me to take breaks all the time. And uh, what I got is this. I know it kind of looks like a Madonna kind of thing, if um, I'm dating myself, yeah, 80s girl here, but they're compression gloves and they really help because it almost feels like you're having this nice warm handshake all day long. And while you're typing, it just makes sure that your finger's in a comfortable position and uh, it's not tight at all. It's uh, a stretchy material. Let me see if I can show you here. It's a stretchy material, but it does feel like that warm handshake that just keeps your hands um, more protected 
and uh, it doesn't let you actually um, get in uncomfortable positions with your fingers. So while I'm typing for longer hours to uh, complete bigger projects, this is actually really, really comfortable. <laughs> So that's it about ergonomics here in my office and um, I wanted to hear from you. Leave some comments uh, down here and let me know uh, what changed your configuration in your office and what helped you and uh, what problems you were having. So this way we can actually learn from one another. All right, see you next time. are these uh, questions.